In this video, I'm going to show you how to incorporate photos into your print-on-demand designs 100% for free inside of Spark. What's up guys, thanks for clicking on this video and welcome back to the channel. My name is Nate Hibbert and this is Wingman University where our goal is to help you start and scale a print-on-demand business. Today, as I was working on my print-on-demand business, uh, I had the idea to start changing things up and challenging myself once again inside of Adobe Spark. And something that I don't do really ever with our designs is using photographs or pictures inside of our designs. So I went to Pinterest, started looking up for t-shirts with images on them, uh, images and words because we still want to use these things that we know that customers are looking for, uh, but I just wanted to start including some photographs. So that is the challenge that I have set for myself today. And so I'm going to show you that process starting right now. Here we are inside of Pinterest. This is the design, the image that I saw uh, from Armani Exchange, actually, not somewhere I usually find my design ideas from. Uh, but this is what really inspired me to take a second look at using images for my uh, designs inside of Spark. And so this is what we're going to be working off of this idea of having an image on the left hand side here and some text on the right hand side. Uh, now the text on this design in particular is curved, which is um, just very time consuming to do inside of Spark and not something I would do to test a market. Uh, the design that we're making today is for a new market or a new customer base rather um, that I don't know that much information on. So it's something that I'm going to be testing out. So I don't want to pour a bunch of time into this design uh, when I'm just, you know, throwing things out there to see what's going to stick. But this inspiration is enough for me to get started. So I'm going to jump into Spark here. Uh, I've got my artboard all ready to go. And this is the customer base that I'm going after, or the saying that I'm going to trying to use to go after a customer base, which is kind of the uh, hard knocks customer base. Uh, people that like these sayings that uh, will bring them inspiration when they wear them around, or just let people know how they feel about certain situations. So uh, this one is when life gives you lemons. Um, so I think this fits that customer base well, uh, but I also think it's a very visual uh, saying. So something like adding lemons to this, um, you know, with an actual picture and some colors to bring this life, I think those two things will pair well together. So that's what I wanted to give a shot today. So I I'm going to break this out into two different windows, uh, my Pinterest window over here on the left hand side and my Spark window on the right hand side. Uh, and I'm going to just move this slider a little bit uh, so we can still have our inspirational piece that we'll be working off of, uh, but be able to actually do that work inside of our artboard over here on the right hand side. Uh, so now that I've got that all set up, uh, what I'm going to do is bring this design over, uh, make it a little bit more narrow so we can share some room with an image over here, maybe a little bit smaller, and I'm actually going to use my capitalize and fit here. And whenever I use that capitalize and fit, it's a good idea to keep in mind that whatever the biggest word is here uh, is what's going to draw the most attention. So when life, which is a word that I want people to focus on, uh, gives you lemons, uh, which is probably the second most important word that I want people to focus on. Uh, so I would say the split is okay, uh, but I'm just not a fan of giving give and you uh, being on the same line. So I can make this a little bit more narrow and then everything will be uh, a little bit more evenly spaced, which I like. So when life, which is still probably the biggest one maybe second to you uh, which I like and gives you lemon so I, I'm happy with the uh, proportions that we have here and just the overall size of this uh, text box uh, I think this will pair well with an image once put over to the right I'm going to move this over to the right just a little bit and I'm going to go up to my add button and add in oops not an icon but actually a photo and I'm going to be using the free photos from unsplash so you can click this little check down here uh, there's pixel bay and unsplash I'm a lot more familiar with with Unsplash and I've used them for a lot of projects in the past uh, and so that's why I have that selected and you guys can see I was already in here looking at some lemon pictures uh, to just see if this idea had legs which I think it does and there's two different images in here that I'm really stuck in between so you guys in the comments can let me know which one you think looks better uh, I really like this hand that feels like it's more handing you uh, lemons which is a, like the exact visual that I have in my head uh, but also I think I can do something kind of cool uh, with this lemon down down here which is on this nice blue background but more of a cross section of the lemon so I could use this uh, half and kind of keep with the same idea of keeping our design a little bit rounded uh, so I'm gonna try this one out first this is a little bit more of an abstract idea and I think the other image of the hand uh, giving us a lemon is a safer bet so let's try this one out first and so when I first started using spark there was absolutely like zero functionality for photos uh, you maybe could do some small tweaking but 
now uh, they have all these cool things built in, including shape, uh, shape crop rather. Uh, and if I click shape crop, what that's going to allow me to do is to pick a shape that I want this to be cut out in. So no longer does it just have to look like a boring photo, uh, which is a kind of a rectangle here, but we can pick whether we want it to be a heart or a star or the one that I'm interested in for this project is this half circle. And so if I move this uh, handle here, being a half circle, I'm actually going to have to check that in um, and then go back into it. That way I can move this photo around a little bit more freely and we can just line that up uh, the best that we can. And so this was the exact idea that I had in my head when thinking about how can I pull this off? You know, I, I saw this circle. I was like, oh, we can use those cool new shape crops inside of Spark. Uh, and so that's what I wanted to do here. So if I hit OK on that, and then we can come in here and rotate this to the left uh, and make it nice and big. And that actually worked out way better than I thought. Now the hand is kind of throwing me off, so I might find a different image. Uh, I really like this blue, uh, but something that we can actually look at is to see if the other side of this lemon, ah, the other side of this lemon has a lot more blue. So what I can do is go back into our crop menu here and I can actually rotate this image so that way I can get more of the blue on there. So if I rotate it like that, that gives us a lot more of the blue and a lot less of the hand. Um, so I think that works out a lot better. Now, I'm really liking this image. I like how we're using the crop here, um, but this text just feels a little bit heavy and doesn't quite match. Uh, one thing that we can try and do is align this slightly better, but also change the color. Uh, I just kind of generically picked a yellow one. That I started this, but if I go in here and use the color selector uh, and use an exact yellow off of the lemon here, uh, that might feel like they tie together a little bit better. So I'm gonna do a light yellow and see how that works out. Oh, didn't select, but I'm going to use this light yellow and see how that works out. Um, so that can tie us together a little bit more, uh, but something we could also try is using this blue. I was just ranting and raving about how much I like it, uh, so maybe that will work best on our text. Uh, not liking that either. So uh, I, I think the big problem here, though, is not being able to curve this text. So regardless of what color I make it, uh, it's never going to be curved or, you know, I'm not going to take the time to test it out uh, to curve it inside of Spark here. So I, I think what I'm going to do is actually go to plan B and use that other image, which is someone handing you a lemon. So we won't get to use our fancy shape crop, um, but this was just a good experiment, something to test out, something I'm always doing inside of Spark, finding ways to challenge myself, kind of push what this tool is capable of, uh, and just think outside the box of how we would make something like this work. I definitely think we could, there's ways that we could align this, uh, but for the simplicity of the design that I'm trying to create today, uh, I'm going to stop there with kind of innovating on this uh, and go back to something that I think would work a little bit better. So I'm going to go into my free library once again of photos. I'm going to to scroll up and find that other design that also has this nice shade of blue um, but is more of a to the point or maybe exactly what you have in your head when you hear when life gives you lemons so this is it. I'm still going to use the crop tool here. Uh, I definitely don't want their sleeve in here, and I think this is just a lot of dead space with this blue, um, so we can crop in just a little bit. I'm going to move this all the way to the left of our box here, and you can actually use your arrow keys to nudge it exactly where you want it. We want some space, some padding in between our hand uh, and the box that we're going to crop it into, but I think that's about good. We don't need so much of their arm in here, so if I hit this check mark, I can make this nice and big again, and then we can move this off to the right hand side uh, and now I'm just going to play with the sizing a little bit I want these two to feel like they belong next to each other and not like one's dominating the other uh, and so I think this is where I'm going to use some of that letter spacing uh, and move that out just a little bit use my arrow keys to bump this to the left slightly and we have that yellow from the last picture so I'm actually going to go back into our color picker and select a yellow from this image a nice bright yellow uh, still, but just something to tie these two pictures in well together. And I think that's a fantastic thing to do. Anytime you want to use an image inside of Spark, if you can use a uh, color that's actually in the picture, it really does tie these two things together.
I'm gonna keep tweaking that design here for a little bit before I submit it to go out to print, but I did want to acknowledge that I moved through that process very quickly. I'm very comfortable with Spark at this point in my career, so I might brush over a thing or two during this video, but if you'd like to see a step-by-step -step guide, we do have that for you on our website, where I've gone all the way from starting your Adobe Spark account to creating your first print-on-demand design. If you'd like to check that out, there will be a link in the description below, or if you'd like to see more videos like this where I'm creating using the tool Spark, you can check out these playlists here. But until the next video, I'll see you guys around.